Good morning. I am here at the Almost Homesteading to show you my morning gardening routine. For this, I always start out with three tools. A knife to cut veggies off of the plants, some tape rolled up about the size of my hand, and a watering can. Let's get started. So we're going to start by checking on our sunflowers. Are they ready? Oh, check this out. The bee has noticed that there is food here. Oh, and another bee. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's another insect. I don't think it's a bee. Anyway, these do not look like they are completed sunflowers. So I think we're good for a minute. Next, if it's a day that I have a lot of energy and time, I will pick off the cornflower blossoms. I do not today. I check my little cucumber. Nope, no baby cucumbers yet. I check on my tomatoes. Oh, look, I have three of them. This one's starting to feel almost ripe. Not quite though. Hmm. This one has one that's starting to turn a little bit. And when I had peas, I would check my peas, but they are long gone. So now we're gonna check our cabbages and see if we find any cabbage worms. Hmm. Yesterday I found, well, I counted 31, but I had, I had been uh, picking them off for a while. Ah, look, look. Can you see it? There are two. Rude. So here is where the tape comes in. So what we do with the tape, this is a little hard with video, but we pick up the insects that we don't like and we don't have to touch them, which is always a nice bonus. And sometimes you might even get more that way than you see with your eyes, which is also a good bonus. So. We're going to do this with all of the uh, Brussels sprouts. Did I say cabbage? They're Brussels sprouts. Anyway, we're gonna check them, see what we find, and I'll show you in the end. So, all done, and I found about 10 little cabbage wormies. Also, be watching to see if you spot any of the white moths flying around because these white moths lay the eggs that become cabbage worms. Now, let's look over here. We have some lettuces, but we're gonna start checking the tomatillos over here. Now, how do we do that? We feel and see if they're about ready to burst out of the husk. These are not Let's check on our green beans. We clearly need to look into something to do about bugs. I do this about every other day, every three days. I'm gonna grab the ones that look like they're ready. Oh, look at that big one. <laughs> Hard to see because of the leaf. There we go. He's nice and nice and plump and ready to go. I haven't had that many green beans this year. I really believe that the cute little bunnies that live next door um, are eating my, uh, the blooms and the green beans. But they're adorable, so I can't be mad. Ah, more tomatoes. Oh, that one's ready. Perfect. I've never dealt with yellow tomatoes before, like the orange tomatoes, so this is a new thing for me. Gonna check the tomatillos. Oh, look at that. See how it's burst out of its husk? It's ready to go. Let's check this one. Nope, oh, nope, that one's still good. Check our happy little cucumber plant. Ah, oh, no cucumbers, sad. 
We'll check our cabbage here. Does he, ah, he has worms. Let me go get the tape. All right, four new bugs, four new worms have been eliminated. Now, back to the task at hand. Checking my cucumber. I'm very confused about this one. This end seems like it's ready to be picked. This end doesn't. I don't know what to do. I'll just check some tomatillos and I'm gonna make sure there's no other cucumbers ready. There are not. Uh, tomatillos, still not ready. Oh, this one's almost ready. Sometimes, but not always, the color of the tomatillo husk will change when it's ready. Sometimes they change before they're ready. Sometimes they don't change at all. It's complicated. Check on my green beans. Looks like they could probably do with a little more water. I did water them a tiny bit last night, but it's gonna be a super hot day. Um, it's 99, I believe. I have a cabbage worm on my calendula. Oh, that's rude. Let me get the tape. Oh, look, there's a bee inside my blossom on my zucchini. That's awesome. So we're gonna check the tops and bottoms of the leaves on the zucchini to make sure there are no squash bugs. But we're trying to do it gently to not disturb the bee too much. I think I'll leave the rest of them alone. I check the calendulas to make sure they're not blooming. This one is starting to, but not quite. I'm picking the blooms off to use for lotions and other, uh, other skin purposes. Tomatillos. Not done yet. These are tiny ones. The cats always help me with the uh, gardening process by meowing <laughs> and needing things when I'm trying to work. All right, let's check this zucchini. Does he have any little zucchinis? Nope. Which is interesting because he had uh seemed like he was going to produce a lot again i'm thinking the rabbits next door mm. anyway no squash bugs and hopefully a few prospective zucchinis will be growing there soon so i'm gonna get the watering but watering can and water here but i'm also gonna water here where i planted some seeds I planted them about two days ago. I want to make sure they stay nice and moist so that they will come up quickly. All right, these are looking much better. I also put some water on my tiny tomatillos that are just starting to grow. I watered these uh, a little better last night. So I check the green beans at the end. They are starting to produce. Yay! Not big enough to pick, but they are actually making beans. That's exciting. And I check on my water hose. So it leaks. And what I do is I move it around to the areas that need water so that it is just kind of gradually watering the area including my calendula. And now we're gonna go to the other part of the garden. So this part of the garden is a lot easier and quicker, but I'm going to get some new tape because I dropped mine in the dirt. And of course it's stuck to the dirt. So yeah. So I start this section by just checking how everything looks, checking on my basil. I watered it yesterday. It's looking pretty good. The weeds are also looking healthy. Purslane is ready to harvest. Woot woot. Now, <laughs> the zucchini. So this zucchini was kind of living on borrowed time because of a squash borer. Um, and then yesterday I put the hose in its area. So I don't know if this is looking all wilty because I overwatered 
or if this is just due to the squash borer damage that we already expected, we'll give it a couple days and see. But I'm going to look under all of the leaves and see if we see any squash bug eggs. Now you'll see that I do still have uh, the powdery mildew and I've thinned out the leaves. There's good airflow. There's only so much you can do to fight uh, powdery mildew when you have like 70% humidity for several days. All right, so we see some seeds. We're gonna use the tape. It's one of the white moths. We're gonna go kill him real quick before he can lay little wormy eggs. Well, that was a fail. He flew up on top of the roof. I'm not that tall. So we got the eggs off of that leaf. I'm gonna continue to do that. Checking my other calendula, not quite ready to pick. Adoring the beautiful nasturtium. Ah, oh, we always have to check on our watermelon. This guy came up in my yard where I had compost last year. And I always need to check and make sure he's got plenty of water. And it looks like he does. Ah, oh, and look, I have morning glories. Did not want them. Going to have to kill them, but I believe they may have some medicinal uses. So I'm gonna check that first. Check out what I found on a leaf. Squash bugs. Time to get them up with tape. Now, in case you didn't know, the Midwest is having one hell of a heat wave. So I'm gonna go inside now and enjoy my air conditioning. See you later. And don't forget to eat something wild that you grew in the garden.